Welcome to GST 203, Introduction to Philosophy and Logic. Today we are going to study Module 3, Logic, Unit 1. Definition and Scope of Logic Etymologically, the word logic is derived from the Greek word logic, meaning possessed of reason, intellectual, dialectical, argumentative, Another account on the historical origin of logic says that it is from the word logos. Logos is an expression of reason or order in, in words or things, principle, mathematical ratio, thoughts or simply word. In most of the above definitions, the words which stand out clearly are reasoning and argumentation. Logical processes. This is made up of simple apprehension, judgment, reasoning, and argument. The relevance of logic. It is the only discipline that strictly lays down the rules which the mind must follow to arrive at truth and thereby minimize, if not totally eradicate error. Another relevance is that as a discipline, it will also equip you with the skills needed for effective and forceful presentation of your views. It also helps us to avoid claims for which we do not have enough reasons. There are many other relevance of logic. Can you refer to your course materials for the others? Logic and other disciplines. Logic is an important area of philosophy. It is the tool with which philosophers perform their task of philosophizing. Therefore, it is not even an exaggeration to claim that logic is to philosophy what mathematics is to the sciences. Apart from philosophy, logic is important to other disciplines such as sociology, history, law, politics, physics, and so on. Classification of logic. We have formal logic, informal logic, mathematical logic, Boolean logic, deductive logic, inductive logic, prepositional logic, and a lot more. Can you refer to your course material also for the others? In conclusion, these different types of logic help in critical thinking and analysis. Thank you.